Hello everyone, welcome back to some more CBG, and uh, okay, so we just met Rama and some of his buddies, and now we're actually going to get some what is called Magicite, which means we'll be able to start using magic once we learn it. Yeah, so here we go. He turned himself into Magicite. <clears throat> Holy crap, he gave up his life to help us. Not really. <clears throat> Why would you do such a thing? If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop the Empire. There must not be a second War of the Magi. Rama! Kate Sith! What the hell? Kieran? Yeah? And Siren. Okay. So now, uh, quit cyan, cause that's a relic. Uh, fuck. Okay, Aspers. Uh, let's see here. Judgment bolts. Thunder Thunder. Get that on him. Okay, so everything is all by uh Confuse Imp and Float, they're all useless. And she's got probably most of this stuff. Holy Ara, Kira Kira. That'd be good for her. Oh, okay. Uh, Sabin, you're not going to really use a whole lot of magic. Okay. Tara, wait for us. We'll be back for you. Okay. Hi, Locke. Everyone's here. I was just thinking. Oh, boy. Let's talk on the way down. Okay, so shit sucks right now. Uh, Terra freaked out. She's white. So yeah, Empire's been draining magic from Espers. Okay, cool. Not cool, actually. Go! Steven's like, I really hate it here. Why did I sign up for this? So this was all that true? I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure. Oh, man. But I've heard rumors to that effect. I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. We'd best split up again. That would indeed be wise. Okay, but alone? Don't worry, I'll go with her. Lock. There, I, I assure you guys, there's a... <clears throat> um, a reason why Lock is like that. Okay, um, we'll take Cyan, yeah. where she is here, okay, yeah, the Oh, well. Okay, well, this will work, I guess. Wait for us back in Narsh. Don't worry, we'll be fine. So now, if we want to change party members, we got to go all the way back to Narsh. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's no good. The town of Jador is just the south wealthiest aristocrats. 
I know Wayland's way there's a gill. Legendary hit treasure around the Imperial territory. <laughs> oh, finally, we get to leave Zozo. Okay, so now we get to go to the south. Okay, it's not this town, is it? Oh, this is Jador. Cool. Uh, is there anything in here? Okay. Yeah, the old game, you used to have to just go all the way around and all that. I mean, just look at everything, you know, you could possibly see. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, we can get this for Cyan. I uh, don't need that for him. Nobody. Lock. Get that for lock. It's a flame scroll. Oh, water scroll. Check out relics. Hmm. Barrier ring, man. Plus two. Mithril glove. Plus six. Earring. Grab a few of those. It's gotta be auction house. That's items. Is there no armor shop? Oh well. Wait, hold on, hold on. I saw somebody out here. I have never seen you before. The town of Zozo is nestled between the mountains. It's a den of thieves and no. Yeah, we already we've already been there. Took care of a lot of them. Okay, hey buddy, what's up, Maria? Eh? Como? M me? So <coughs> sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Still, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh dear, we're really in trouble this time. <laughs> oh, hello. What we got huh? This man must have dropped this. That man is the director of the troop that performs at the Opera House. Everyone just calls him Impresario. He's been a bit, he's been in a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. Oh boy. Dearest Maria, I've decided to take you as my wife, so I'll be coming to kidnap you. Sign the Wandering Gambit. Who is this wandering, what's his face? <laughs> Were you born, in a, born on a farm, son? Oh man, he looks cool in this. A gambling vagabond who finds, who finds freedom from society's narrow views of morality. Boarded, boarded ship, the blackjack. Setzer! We're just gonna keep it as sensor. He looks good in this. That would be sensor, the owner of the world, owner of the world's only airship. If we had that ship, okay, let, let's start the mission. Ah, wow, his theme sounds good in this. Oh yeah. We'll see that thing later on. Hey, Ultros!
Yeah, ether. Let's go find Sitzer, pay him a visit, probably, quite possibly, punch him in the nuts. Oh, there's, okay, here's the armor shop. <laughs> Hello? Mithril shield, one, two, three. Oh, we got a few of those. Nothing. So now we got to go to the opera house. Hello, opera house. Ah, it's you again. We read that letter. So Setzer is coming to snatch Maria away, huh? Over my dead body. He'll probably appear right at the climax of the first act. He loves to make an entrance. Perfect. When he shows up, we'll jump out and nab him and punch him in the dick. Dear me, no, you'll ruin the performance. I'll lose my job. Uh, aren't you in charge? But if you but if you don't do anything, well, you're screwed anyway, so yeah. He's already taking shots. The Celeste is like, what the hell? <laughs> I say let him take her. Huh? Have you lost your mind? We'll use a decoy. Once he's got her, we'll follow him right back to his airship. And then punch him in the dick. And if all goes well, we should be able to commandeer it. Damn, Locke, Locke's just like going full-blown pirate mode. <laughs> I like it. Are you mad if anything should happen to Maria? I'm fucked. Damn it, you ain't listening. That's why we use a decoy. We can hide Maria someplace safe. Come again? Seriously? I don't remember him being this stupid. You said yourself that Celeste looks like Maria, right? Now let's put two and five together. Now just a minute. She can be our Maria. We'll let Setzer kidnap her and lead us straight to the airship. Brilliant! Celeste's like, what? Uh-uh. Hold on here. I'm a former general, not some opera floozy. It's like damn blonde hair. <laughs> me, me, do re me. <coughs> Maria. <laughs> That's the spirit. Ah, uh, you again, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, just like, damn it! This looks really cool. Oh, 
This looks really good. For a pixel remaster, this looks really good. The war between the East and the West was growing more violent by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West, thinks of his, uh, thinks of his love, Maria, back at home. Oh, that background looks familiar. Oh man, he just got ran over by a bunch of chocobos. Gonna hear Celeste sing? Oh, hell yeah! As if I were Whoa, that was cool. Are we actually gonna hear Celeste sing? That is going to be sweet if we do. All right, let's let's go checking on our girl. Hello. <laughs> oh, poor Locke. <laughs> Have you always been that pretty? Locke, why did you stand up for me when you did? Because I'm tired of standing by and doing nothing while I lose the girls I like. Uh... That ribbon looks nice on you. I have to go on stage soon. The next scene is an important one. Maria starts to worry that something happened to Draco. Pours her feelings into a song. Oh boy. Yeah, we might want to check the score just in case. Oh, my hero, my beloved. Shall we still be made apart? Yes, yeah, sing in my heart. I'm the darkness, you're the starlight, shining brightly from afar. For hours of despair, I offer this prayer. Or. Okay, it's it's a little different than the original. Mm. Pick up flowers, climb the stairs. Oh boy, I'm just as nervous as she is. Let's do this. Ah, my favorite scene. Whoa. That's all I'm saying is, whoa.
Fuck that guy! Oh. That was... Wow. That was really, really good. A, a lot of it was changed, especially in that, that second act of it. Yeah, that that was completely changed. It was still good, though. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, I love that scene. It's... I remember seeing it for the first time when I was a teenager. Oh my god. Yeah, I cried. I may have been a preteen, actually. I think I was like 11, 12 years old. <laughs> you were wonderful, Celeste. And in the next episode, we'll just see how wonderful she was. Alright guys, I'll see y'all then.